Right, so OpenAI just released its latest models, the OpenAI 01, a new series of models designed to spend more time thinking before they respond. And I want to go over what these are, how they work, how you can get access to them, and a bunch more cool stuff, so stick around. Um, first things first, how do they actually work? So these models were trained to spend more time thinking about the problems before they respond, just like me and you would do, right? Just like a human would do, you think, and then you reply. So for example, I just asked it, how many words does your reply to this have? And it's, it's a very hard question because you have to know what your reply is gonna be, and then you have to think about the words to then write your reply based on that thinking. So of course it says, my reply to this question has eight words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And it does answer these harder questions. Now there's two variations of this model. There's the O1 preview, which uses advanced reasoning, and there's the O1 meaning, which is a bit faster at reasoning. Now, if we see this, and I'll leave links for all this down below, right? Here's the speed at which each uh, model works. So GPT-40, O1 mini, uh, and O1 preview. As you see here, both of these right here take way, way more than the three seconds uh, GPT-4 takes. Now, again, they take more because they're reasoning. They're thinking about what they're going to say before they say it, right? These models, again, they think through the problems before they respond to them, just like they said here in the announcement, right? These models also have uh, ran through complex tasks and solved harder problems than previous models in science, coding, and math. And um, you see here, right, the preview is taking almost 30 seconds to give a reply to that same answer. Now, these can be better in different stages. For example, if you want a faster answer, maybe an easier questions, just use GPT-40, right? If you think that the question you're asking requires a bit more thinking, a bit more thorough um, reasoning, right? You go for these one of these two models, right? Again, takes more, more time, but the answer is more thought out, just like a person would, right? And previously, if you were to ask this to GPT-40, and you can actually test it out, let's just see, let's change the model, create a new chat and ask it this, right? How many words does, does your reply to this have? Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So are you sure? Because it says nine, right? It added only eight words. Yes, I'm sure. The sentence, my reply to this question contains nine words. Give me the words. So what will it do now? Hopefully, come up with a mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I see now that my previous response contains eight words, not nine. I apologize for the confusion. So again, it, because it's not thinking about the questions before it answers them, it makes these mistakes, right? Again, these are the speeds. If it had taken more time, 30 seconds instead of three seconds, maybe it'd give him the answer right off the bat, as it did with the O1 preview, which of course uses advanced reasoning and the fast the O1 mini advanced reasoning. Sorry, fast reasoning. So that's the main difference between these two. Again, I'll leave links for this down below in the description. And also, by the way, one important thing is that now these models became 80% cheaper. So the APIs for these models became 80% cheaper. Right. And if you're using any like AI generation tools for text, uh, for example, if you're using journalist AI, this means that these models will become cheaper and better, and so pricings can drop, right? There's a whole, like when these models improve, all these LLMs, whether that's Google's one, Perplexity, OpenAI's one, as these models improve, so do products associated with uh, these AIs. For example, this right here, tryjournalist.com, this was all done with, with AI. And it, it's all gonna make sense in a second here. If I open this up, right, if this is an article about a review of a certain car, right? Previously, and we use a, a matchup of models, not just open eyes run, but if now we include this model with reasoning behind it, right, maybe the content will be very different, right, than what it is right now. So that's something that's pretty powerful. Also, the feature that you have here for rewriting, make it longer, make it shorter, let's say I wanna make this longer. You click your head with AI, I select this and I say, make it longer, right? Right now, uh, we, because it's doing it so fast, it's not reasoning the behind making it longer, what to say, what not to say. It is great, right? It made it longer, and it's, it's nice, right? But with these new models, if we include them into our own model, right, this is gonna improve it so, so much, right? Uh, also, one pretty cool thing I wanna show you is that, let's see this image right here uh, of these, this audio, right? I can say, add a dog, right? And it's not just gonna add a dog to the image, right? Or of a dog, right? It's gonna add a dog, taking into account the whole context of the article and the image itself. So it added the dog, the dog sorry, next to the actual audio, right? Except if I do, for example, uh, like this, put it underwater, boom. Now it's gonna put the same car, the same model, because it has the context of the article as a whole, as well as the image, underwater. As you see here, boom, there you go. Same thing underwater. Now you can also add links, so the add links, add external links, right? Uh, it's gonna read through the paragraph, read through the whole article and find relevant 
sites it can link out to, as well as the, with the URLs you can preview here. As you can see here, I'm adding all these links to my paragraph in just a couple seconds. If I were to have to do this, this manually, it would have taken so much time. I can do stuff like, for example, make this a table. So make the info from this paragraph into a table. That's pretty cool, right? Again, you can do this. Humans can do all this, but it just takes you so much time. That's why you should use AI for it. I can actually make this, write it as a pirate. I don't know why you want to do this, but you can if you want, right? And write this as a pirate, right? Or whatever, right? Boom, there you go, right? So again, you can do all this as a human, but why would you when you have these amazing AI models that can increase the speed at which you do stuff? It is super powerful. And again, you don't need to use journalist AI. You don't need to. Yeah, full disclosure, I own this tool. But uh, use some AI, right? Because why would you not? It takes you so much time to do it alone. And you should be using AI because, and I give this analogy all the time, right? Think of AI as, as like a wrench, right? A wrench that allows you to do things faster. If we're doing a competition, this is me, right? Me, oh, and this is you, right? And we're doing a competition of assembling tables, right? The person who assembles tables the faster wins, right? But I have this tool. You don't, you have your hand. You're like, you're assembling the legs on the, on the top with your hand, right? Yes, in the end, we're both gonna have a table built, but I'm gonna build it so much faster and I'm gonna be able to build so many more tables. Right? Again, we both reach the same goal, which is building the table. I just do it so much faster because I have this tool. This tool, in my analogy, being AI. Hopefully this made sense. So yeah, that's it. That's the announcement. To get access to this, by the way, you need GPT Premium, which is quite affordable in my opinion. It's just $20 a month and it is very, very worth it, right? So have the Plus subscription. It should be showing up here, these two new models um, when you when you sign up. So yeah, that's it. By the way, if you watch this far and you get access, you want access to this, right? This little software, which allows you to do a bunch of stuff. This article that you just saw was basically from a YouTube video, so I converted the YouTube video into a blog post, but you can generate news articles, blog posts, you can do a bunch of stuff. If you wanna give it a go, just go to the site. I'll leave a link in the description and also in the pinned comment down below. Try it out for free, you can give it a go for free. And if you wanna get the paid version, just go here to this little chat bubble and ask the guys for a coupon code. Say, listen, I came from this video, Vasco told me that if I, I, I went here, you guys would give me a coupon and the guys will give you a coupon so you'd have to pay a full price. So yeah, that's it, cheers.